What's up YouTube? So today we're gonna do some work on the Fiesta. I don't know, I don't think I've introduced you guys yet to the car, but this is my 2016 Fiesta ST. Uh, I've had it for about six months now and didn't opt for the expensive Recaro seats. Um, it's bone stock. And the only things I've, I shouldn't say it's bone stock. Um, things I've done to it are plasti did the rims. The car up today, we're gonna do an oil change. Um, I decided to go with some Valvoline, full synthetic. And I usually, I trust the Motocraft stuff it's on. So I don't know if you can see that, but this is like the original and then there's the 15% um, that was 15% all the way around and then I put on the visor strip I don't know how well that's gonna come out but I I really like the visor strips on it and definitely definitely recommend getting a visor strip for your Fiesta if you don't have one already let's get started Usually I like to start off by taking off the, the oil fill cap. Yeah, it's a little hot still because I literally just stopped driving this thing. But usually I take off the oil fill cap. Um, this way you don't like create a potential vacuum when you're dropping the oil. It just kind of lets air in. Um, and then next step is usually well, if you haven't already, finish jacking up all the, the car all the way. Because there's no way you're getting under there without it being jacked up. When you're jacking up a car, especially a unibody car, um, it's very important to jack it up on the, on the pinch weld. <laughs> now, it can be a, kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know how well you can see that, but... Uh, it can be kind of a pain in the ass and can kind of make you worry a little bit because you can freaking roll over that pinch weld and then you just kind of rolled over pinch weld and it looks shitty and I don't know I don't know what it does to the structure of the body but I've seen cars with them like flattened and that's no no fun so you got to be careful when you're doing it otherwise you'll like fold them over so but you always want to jack on those don't jack on the subframes because they're not designed for just did there was the car was only jacked up on one side and so all the oil was heading to this side of the pan so to get it out of that corner I lowered the back and brought the jack over to the other side and jacked it up so that the car would essentially be level and by doing that got the rest of the oil out now we're just
we're just about ready to drop the filter and finish this thing up. is our oil filter. So next step, take that thing off. All right, well, that's not real easy to get to. So that oil filter is on there way too effing tight. I yanked on that thing so hard to get it out, no luck. So this is when you want to have friends because you call them up and ask them if they have oil filter wrenches. And when they do, they bring them over for you. So friend Alex will be here in a few minutes. He's got a few wrenches. We'll get that sucker off. He's here. So this thing do you like? 120 in the quarter? Mm, more like 113. Took the, uh, the restrictor plate off, so that got an extra six horses. Pretty stout. She does well. She gets by. We ready to do this? Dude, that thing's on there good. It's on there real good. <laughs> the shifter linkage cable which is down there if you see that yellow clip kind of way back there that is what we're going to be messing with today and the reason for doing this as most ST and RS owners know when you're going from first to second and you're getting on her and you miss second because that shit just doesn't go in there this is supposed to help with that so Alex did it to his RS and he said it helped. So I'm gonna do it to the ST, see if it makes a difference. So we took off this cover, which kind of sits over the, sits down there like this. And it comes out with one of those plastic screw clips like that. And it's, you know, hit or miss whether or not you'll be able to unscrew that and get it out but good luck. All right, so you gotta reach your hand down in there real deep like. Am I doing this? Yeah. Oh. And then you gotta push it out to the driver's side. So you get on to the, should be open see on. down there, that yellow clip, you push it towards the driver's side and that should release it. You don't push it all the way out, you just push it like one click essentially. It's got ears on it so that it should essentially only go out a little bit. Yeah, you good? Now, taking off the intake might be a little bit easier. Yeah, but we'll definitely make it easier, but it's not required. As you can see, we're getting it done. So, and mind you, you pop that clip out with the gear selector in neutral. Yep, it's, it's 
go ahead and all right so reminder before you pop that clip make sure it's in neutral now that the clips popped you're gonna go in there and you're gonna put it in fourth and then you're gonna pop the clip back in getting in here put that bitch in fourth Get back over here. I got you. Wow, well, I got it all. What was that? So you heard that click? That was applying force on the back side of the clip towards the passenger side of the vehicle and that'll pop the clip back in. And then just put it back in neutral and that should be that. This just centers the steering lever in the center of the, the gate, right? So okay. This is only gonna help in the first, second, third, fourth. All right, so like Alex said, it centers the gear selector into the center of the, the gate so that you can get a better angle on so it just first, be, second, it just third, be fourth. Centered so you're not like over too far to the left where you're grinding against the side of the wall or vice versa for step to six. Got you, got you. Once you do that, slap this cover back on and you are on your very way. There's a, make sure you get this into a bracket. There's a tab on the plastic piece that you gotta slide into the metal bracket of the, the battery module. Ready for that. Just pushes in. You can screw it in, it just uses the push. Pushed in, it's locked down, and that is how you adjust your shifter cable.